Hi, Randy, K7AGE, with another video. Years ago, I had my manual antenna switch automatically switching. So it would follow the commands from TRX Manager to control the radio and also control the antenna switch. And I really liked that. I could change bands using the software or even change bands using the radio and the antenna switch would automatically switch between my various antennas. I haven't been able to get this to work for quite a while, do the Windows 7 and 64 bits and trying to get a parallel port to work with something other than a printer. But I have a serial board now and I've been able to make this work. We'll take a look at how that hooks up here in a second. Meanwhile, if you like this video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button. Okay, let's take a look at the new interface. Let's take a look at what I'm working with here today. I have TRX Manager running on the PC. Now this is software that controls the radio, watches the DX cluster, has a logging window, uh, has memories and all sorts of things. And I've been using this for years and I really like it. I have my Elecraft K3 that this is connected with a serial cable to control the radio and read status. And I also have my Ameritron RCS-8V antenna switch to control switching out at my tower between my 80 and 40 meter dipoles and my HF tri-band beam. This is my old parallel port interface board. We plug into the computer using a parallel port. It has eight relays and this is what I used to use but I can't get this to work anymore. This is my new board. It's from National Control Devices. Their web page is control anything is one word dot com and this is the R81 DPDT interface board. So again, serial port, hook it up to the computer, apply 12 volts, and again has eight relays. It also has LEDs up here to show you the status of the relays. First one means that power is on, and we'll see the others change here. I have this up and running just so I can verify that everything's going to work. It's not connected to the antenna switch yet. So you can see right now the first LED is on. That's uh, my 80 meter antenna. If I switch this to 40, you can see the second LED comes on and that would change the switch to the 40 meter dipole. If I go to 20, there it's changing to the third relay. Now 20, 15, and 10 all use the same antenna, so it's gonna be using the same relay. If I go back here to 80 quickly and go back here to 10 meters, you see it's selected the third relay there and I would be using the tri-band beam. So I know this all all works. Just a quick look within TRX Manager. This is how you set up this board. You go to the band decoder tab and I'm going to send it hex formatted commands and it has a field here for each one of the bands. Three commands I have to send it, well two or three. FE is the beginning of the commands 1D will turn all the relays off, so for 160 I don't have an antenna. For 80 meters, it's FE2C08, so the 08 is to turn on the relay. The 2C will turn all the other relays off, so I'll only end up with one at a time. So 80 meters, it's 08 for the first relay. 40 meters, it's 09 for the second relay. And 20 meters, it's OA for the third re relay. And I also have that for 15 10, 10 meters. And for the other bands, I disconnect the antenna. So I've decided I'm going to mount the board in this old data switch box. It has a switch on the front, has three connectors on the back, nine pins. I'm going to use the female for the serial connection to the computer. I'm going to use the other one here for power. And the other nine pin I'm going to use for cable to go over to the antenna switch. So these are handy to have if you have any in your junk box. It's a nice box. Would cost you a lot of money. It's got a lot of wires in here. So I think the first thing to do is to pull all the wires off of the switch here. And just to show you, uh, the board will fit inside. If we get the switch out of the way, it has enough room in there that it'll mount down underneath. So first thing to do is pull the wires off the switch and I can probably reuse a lot of those connections. And I'm just gonna start pulling these off. There we go, they're gonna come off quick. Switch is removed. 
Okay, for the serial connection, I'm gonna use pins two, three, and five. I'm gonna remove the rest of the wires from that connector. For my power connector, I'm gonna use pins five and six, which is on the opposite five on the bottom row. So the first four wires will come off the top. One, two, and I got all my wires off of that now. And I screwed up on here. This isn't the five pin. This is the one pin. So I need to move this over to here and this one down to there. So solder it back into this pin. There, now they're on one and five. For this connector that's go off to my antenna switch, I need four wires. One will be a common and one for each of the three antennas. So I'm going to use the first four wires and then take the rest off the connector. Okay, so the board's going to mount in the bottom of the, uh, the box here. Um, here's where the power and the serial. So this is going to be my power wires will go there. My serial wires will all reach over to that connection. And my relay wires will be soldered into these um, pads across the bottom here and those are all long enough so I can reuse all of the wires that are in the box. So I'm going to mark these holes and go out and drill those and put some screws in there and uh, we'll have that mounted in the box then. Be right back. Okay I have my uh, four screws now drilled and mounted in there. Okay each of the relays have independent contacts so I need to bust together the common. So I'm going to connect a relay three to relay two and then relay two to relay one. I'll turn this around and solder it. Okay, now the trick is to solder these without the wires falling through. So relay two here. I didn't quite fill the hole. There we go. There's one wire. There's the other filled up nicely. Here's for that relay. There we go. Okay, common wires are all in connect the wires that are going to go to the antenna switch to the relays. First wire, the pin one position, will be the common. So that's this wire here. And that's got to get soldered to where all these jumpers are. Two pads for each contact, which is nice. Solder that on here. Okay, now we're going to solder the first relay wire, which is on the second pin. Go into this pad right here for the relay. Oops. I'm going to solder that in right here. That's relay one. Relay two will be the third wire over. That's this one. And it goes into relay two. And now the last wire goes into relay three. Okay, so that's all the soldering. Next thing to do is to get the board, place it down over the screws. Um, there's the wires for the relays. The rest of the wires all go into the terminal strip. So no more soldering. It'll go quick. Okay, so we just need to connect these wires to the terminal strip. So this is the, the bottom one on the far side. And the last wire will go into the end. If I've done it right, this should be done. So probably the next thing I need to do is make myself up a power cable. Okay, so I have a uh, female DB9 connector, and I'm just going to tin these two pins I'm going to use. So it's this one here, this with a positive, and this one, no, that one's the ground, and that one's going to be the hot. Okay, so this one's the ground. So I have my wire made up, and it's tinned. I'm going to hold, I'm going to heat up the pin. Slide the wire down in there and let it cool. Okay, so I have uh, power uh, plugged in. I have serial hooked up to the computer. Let me turn on my power supply. The red light comes on for power. Now I'm going to select up here on TRX Manager. Uh, it's like the 80 meter antenna. I should get the first LED. Yes, I do. 40 meter next relay and 20 meter the third. If I go to 160, 
turn them all off. So it's working. Okay, the next thing to do is to interface this into the um, switch box. So the way the switch box works is that when you turn the, the knob, it sends 12 volts out to the switch that's at the tower. And all the other ones are just open, so there's no voltage. Now I'm sending 12 volts out for the second relay and for the third. And the way I hook up this box is that I will connect that common to the fifth, because that now has 12 volts. It'll go through the relay and come back, and I'll wire it across the control cable, and that will then close the relay on the tower. So what I've done is taken an old uh, serial cable and cut off one end, and I've buzzed out all the wires back to the connector, and I know I have these four, and these are really thin wires. I don't think they'll take a, um, a, uh, a lug very well, so I'm just going to screw them on there. So. There we go. All the wires are installed. Okay, so it's hooked into the um, switch box now. Here's the uh, serial board. I have TRX Manager running here. I'm going to turn the power on. And we get the power LED lights up. And I'm going to turn on the antenna switch. I have position 5. Now, unfortunately, the LEDs don't follow the switching. So you have no visual indication. But um, the relays are changing. And if I listen here, let's say 40 meters, you can see the signal level. And if I go switch the beam, you can see how low that is. There's 40, it's come back up. There's 80. So I know it's using the right antenna. If I go to 160, it turns them all off. So I think I'm uh, done. All I do is clean it up, put the cover on. I'm going to make up some labels to put on the back here. And uh, I'm back in operation. Well, it also follows the radio, which is kind of nice. So if I, right now I'm on 160. If I go up to if I go up to 80 meters, <clears throat> you can see the, the LED lit here. If I go back to 160, it goes off. So TRX is reading the status of the radio and then controlling the relay board. The radio is not directly controlling. But if I uh, go, there's 3.5, there's the uh, 80 meter antenna, 5, I should set that to nothing. Go to 40 meters, now it's switched over to the 40 meter. So that's really handy. The relays are changing. Well, that finishes up my K7AGE serial antenna switch controller project. I just need to uh, clean things up, find a place to set it up here on the operating position, run the cables behind the radios, and plug it all in and enjoy my automatic switching again. So thanks for watching. This is Randy, K7AGE73.